The play opens as La Flesh, a servant of the rich Harpagon, waits for his master in Harpagon's home. Valir enters and explains to the audience that he's begun working as a steward for Harpagon so he can be closer to Harpagon's daughter, Elise. The two met when Valir saved Elise from drowning and from there fell in love with her. Harpagon enters. It's clear he is a miser, preoccupied with his money and possessions. He accuses La Flesh of hanging around to steal things, which La Flesh counters by pointing out that it's impossible to steal from someone who watches his money so closely. Harpagon then tells the audience he's worried that someone will find the large amount of money he's buried in the yard. He then worries that his confession was overheard, as Elise and Clent, Harpagon's son, enter the scene. What Harpagon's children really want, however, is to let him know that they'd like to get married. They've both found someone and are each in love. Harpagon wants to discuss marriage, to his own, and mentions the name Marion. This upsets Clent, who runs off the stage. Harpagon then tells Elise that he's arranged for her to marry Senior Anselm. He asks Valir his opinion, and Valir approves the match in an effort to suck up to Harpagon, despite his feelings for Elise. After Harpagon leaves, Valir tells Elise that they will work things out. Act 2 begins with Clint revealing he is also in love with Marion, and he vents his frustration about having to compete with his father for her affections. He decides to keep his feelings a secret though, while he tries to discover a way to get money to Marion and her mother. Clint arranges to borrow money from a lender through a series of intermediaries, but it turns out the lender is actually Harpagon, who discovers that Clint is trying to borrow money from someone else and is displeased. Act 3 starts, and Harpagon issues instructions to his servants to prepare the house for Marion's arrival. When Marion arrives, she is surprised by Harpagon's unattractiveness. She is further surprised when she learns that Clent, whom she loves, is Harpagon's son. Clent compliments Marion, though Harpagon interprets his words as an insult. Clent insists that Marion take Harpagon's ring, one that he is presently wearing, as a present. Harpagon is furious, as he believes Clent has wasted his money. Elise enters the scene and tells the group that someone has arrived with money for Harpagon. Harpagon quickly sets out to see to his business, and Clint takes the women on a tour of the garden. Harpagon sees Clint kissing Marion's hand at the beginning of Act 4, and begins to suspect that they are in a relationship. When questioned by Harpagon, Clint denies having feelings for Marion. Eventually, however, Harpagon tricks Clint into admitting his feelings. Harpagon is furious, but Clint explains that he will not stop loving Marion. Master Jacques, another servant, is called in to resolve the dispute, he listens to both men, crossing the stage dramatically as he does so. Master Jacques gently adjusts each man's argument so they eventually come to an accord. Their agreement is artificial, however, as the men discover when they each thank the other for allowing him to marry Marion. Harpagon throws Clint out and threatens to disown him. Then La Flesh enters, he's found Harpagon's buried money. The final act begins with Senior Anselm's entry. He doesn't want to marry Elise if she will not be happy as his wife. Master Jacques then accuses Valir of stealing Harpagon's money. However, Valir believes he's being accused of stealing Elise's love. He admits to that, which Harpagon interprets as an admission of theft. Harpagon is furious that Elise has fallen in love with someone he thinks is a thief. Valir then announces that he's a member of a high-ranking family believed to have died in a shipwreck. Marion follows this with the revelation that Valir is her long-lost brother. She survived that shipwreck and made it to France with her mother. Then, Seigneur Anselm reveals that he's their father. Harpagon holds Seigneur Anselm responsible for the theft of his money. When Harpagon balks at paying for Elise and Valir's wedding, Seigneur Anselm offers to cover the entire cost. Harpagon remains fixated on his missing money, though Clint offers to find it in exchange for the right to marry Marion. Unlike many works of literature that feature a miser fixated on his money, in Moliere's play, Harpagon experiences no epiphany about what truly matters in his life. Instead, he remains closer to his money than anything else, even when he sees people all around him falling in love and pledging to be happily devoted to each other. As such, the main theme of the play is greed. And though Harpagon does not experience the clarity the audience may hope for him, the fact that the other characters are so happy makes the play's message clear. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.